Hi everybody, how are we? Oh, have you had a good week? It was boiling, wasn't it? I've had such a good week. Love the sunshine being back. Makes me happy and fills me with sunny joy. So, it's July tomorrow. Can you believe it? June has just flown by, has it not? I think it helps when it's been sunny because we can play in the garden. And obviously you've been back to school, some of you. So that makes it go a bit quicker anyway, doesn't it? But my goodness, I cannot believe it's July, which can mean one thing. We are closer to September when hopefully we'll be back together. Yay! Thank you for the videos that I've been sent. They have been wonderful. Um, really cheered me up, put a big smile on my face and yeah, they're just brilliant. So keep sending them in. Um, Fee likes to see them as well because I pass them on to her so she can see what lovely work you're doing at home. Um, if you ever need to contact me, I know you'll have my number now, but just in case, my RPA phone is 07747 four nine seven nine seven five if you do text me bear with with a reply because it's one of those really old ones where you have to press the number about five times to get the letter and then you're too slow and then it disappears and you have to start all over again so yeah bear with um what's the what's our rule at the moment everybody is to have Loads and 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 loads of fun isn't it? That's our main rule at the moment because I don't know about you, but when I'm having fun, my day just flies by. It goes so quickly. Okay, Zoom news. If you don't fancy doing it on the computer or in front of everybody, that is cool. Um, you can go and tell your grown up now some Zoom news if you like. If not, I am very excited to hear some. Um, it's really interesting to hear what you've been up to, what you're proud of at home, because obviously I don't know what you get up to every day. So for you to tell me is just brilliant. It's really interesting. So if you've got some Zoom news, you can tell me. My news is my garden is looking absolutely perfect. I've spent a lot of time putting some new plants in and some veggies and some chilli, tomatoes, strawberries, that sort of thing. And because of all the rain we had, followed by last week's of really, really hot sun, it's looking amazing. I've got loads of herbs to put in my salads and all my foods and it is lush. They're nice and healthy. They're very strong flavoured and I highly recommend growing your own herbs. I've got sage, basil, thyme, Parsley, chives, coriander didn't work. Um, what was the other one? Oregano. Oh, that's amazing. Especially if you sprinkle it on your pizza and on your pasta. Right, so if you wanted to pause this video now and go and do some Zoom news to somebody in your house, you can do that. Then just jog straight back and we can carry on with the class. You done it? So... As I'm still feeling quite relaxed and chilled, I thought we'd do some more yoga poses or some stretchy moves just to warm up our bodies and make us aware of every part of our body, okay? So find your big space in your room. Now you might notice I've got a big knee brace on today. That's because I'm having a big problem with my knee. So if I start wobbling, just ignore it, okay? So our first pose we're gonna do is our one where we reach up to the sky, we stretch as high as we can, and we look up to the stars, okay? Remember to keep breathing. Hold your tummy, hold your back, and breathe. Well done. Now if you've got lots of room, can we do a super wide stance, nice straight hips, nice strong tummy, arms out to the side and stretch as far as you can, thinking you're trying to stretch to each wall, okay? Big stretch, can you feel your chest opening? You can, well done, remember to keep breathing. 
Well done. Now we're going to, I'm going to come sideways, we're going to do our down facing dog. So we're going to keep our legs straight, we're going to put our hands flat on the floor and the idea is to try and put your heels down on the floor, okay? So we come down to the floor, we step out, can you still see me? And can you see I'm on my tiptoes? Now the idea is to try and push back in your hips and try and put those heels on the floor. And you should feel a really big stretch down here. Can you do that for me? Can you? Well done. Big stretch. Well done. If you want to turn around and face the other way, please do. Now we're going to finish our yoga warm up. Oh, I can't do that one. With our favourite. So we're going to rest our foot on our thigh. And we are going to try and balance. Now, if you are feeling super strong, we can lift up our arms like our first position. And we can look up to the sky. Oh, that's tricky. Remember to breathe. Very good. Now, if you could, please, could you do the other leg? So you bring this leg. If you can't bring it all the way up, you could always just rest it on your ankle like Kara's going to do. Find your balance. Hold your tummy. Hold your back. Shoulders open. And there we go. Can you touch your ears with the insides of your arms? Well done. So you can do those positions as many times as you like. If you feel like you need to chill and relax. Um, I really like them. Um, apart from my knee, which is really annoying. But it doesn't matter, I've got another one, haven't I? So that's fine. Um, yeah, just do those whenever you need some, like I've said before, whenever you need some time out. Someone in the house is annoying you because that's normal. Because you're spending so much time together. Just take yourself off to your bedroom or a nice big space. It could even be in the garden, which is lovely when it's sunny to do yoga in the garden. Find a big space. Find your centre. Do some nice deep breaths and just do those positions. And just breathe and smile and try and clear your mind of all those rubbishy thoughts that might keep popping in. You know the ones... That I miss my friends, I'm bored. Try and get rid of those, just blow them away. Okay, blow them out with your breath, well done. So, the theme today is going to be drama, because I can't dance very well, which is really annoying, but hopefully won't be long. Um, and we are going to act out some emotions and feelings using the letters of your name, okay? So, for example, my name is... Cara, and it's spelt C-A-R-A, -A. Um, and I'm going to do a feeling based on every single letter. So my first letter is C, and I'm going to act it out, and let's see if we can guess what it is, okay? What I'd recommend is you get a piece of paper, and you, you write down your name nice and big. I've got a pen handy. If I write it backwards, you should be able to see. So I'm going to write it nice and big so it's clear. I hope this works. I'm writing it backwards. Yay! So it's clear what letter I need to do next. So I'm going to start with C and I'm going to act out a feeling. Then I'm going to go to A and then R and then A. So I'd like you to do the same. Write your name down and then think of a feeling or like an emotion or a mood and act out that letter, okay? So, my first letter is C, and I am going to go... Da, 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 da. I'm crazy! You see? See how easy this is, and you can do it for as long or as little as you like, and it's really good fun. So my next letter is A. And I think I'm going to be, what did I say I was going to be? Apprehensive. Now, apprehensive means not entirely sure. So, mm. 
I'm a bit apprehensive. Now, the best way to act it out when you can't speak is by using your facial expression. Now, the bigger they are, the clearer it will be what you're acting out, okay? So my R is going to be this. Can you guess what it is? It's relief. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm so relieved. Thank you. Oh. See my big facial expressions. And my last one is an A. Ready? See if you can guess. Got it? It's amazement. <laughs> amazement that we are still coping all right in this weird time. So I've done C, A, R and A. Can you write your name down like Harvard did? Not very clear. And can you act out each letter with a different emotion? And if you can send it to me, that would be brilliant because then I can see that you've really understood. Okay, let's have a bit of water. So my video is about to end because my camera, my storage is full. So I'm going to say goodbye for this part and then I'm going to send you another link as normal and we'll do part two. Okay, see you in a minute guys.